Here's how you prepare a catamaran to survive a record-breaking hurricane. The forecast is for 120 mile an hour winds and an unheard of 12 foot storm surge. This would put Reboot over the top of those pilings and I'm not sure she can survive that, but we're going to do our best. I'm going to show you exactly how we did the lines for Reboot. This technique saved her during Hurricane Ian. We hope it'll work for Hurricane Milton. Breakers thrown. Breakers thrown. The first thing you'll see is that every line coming from the boat to secure it is incredibly long. Every cleat on the boat has at least one line coming from it. Make sure you use dock lines because they have spring to them and give. Our neighbor had secured his boat with running rigging and it did not do well. Two of the lines coming from the center cleats of the boat cross each other. This will allow Reboot to go way, way up along those pilings while not letting her drift all the way out into the canal. It is not safe to reset your lines during a storm. One gust of hurricane force wind can either rip the line out of your hands or smash the boat against you. Every palm tree in my backyard is a Christmas palm because they do not fall over in bad hurricanes, ever. They have incredible holding strength and we use them as anchors. The smaller ones replaced all the different kinds of palm trees we lost in Ian, and I deliberately placed them in the backyard to become good anchors for Reboot. They've only been in for two years, so I picked just one to be tribute for this storm, but eventually all five of them will act as anchors for the Reboot. Each piling had only one line as well. Good luck, Reboot. It's gonna be a bad one. A catastrophic Category 3 hurricane has just made landfall near Siesta Key, Florida. Now, this is a life-threatening situation with officials stressing if you did not get out, you need to be sheltering in place right now. This is a live look at the conditions in Fort Myers, Florida as we speak. Milton is packing winds of up to 120 miles per hour. Nearly 800,000 people are already without power. Storm surge warnings are in effect up and down the coast as some parts could see up to 15 feet of rising water tonight. This is our first time back and we're gonna look at the boat, look at Reboot. Our next door neighbors who rode out the storm because their house is much higher than ours and also a couple decades newer, told us the Reboot was okay, but I really needed to see her for myself. It's hard to believe that this dock was under more than nine feet of water two days ago. Those pilings are 10 feet tall, so the lines and the reboot must have been at the absolute limit. I am amazed. Many of our neighbors who are boaters either had dock rash or had lost a couple of pilings, so I was really expecting to see some damage. So, let's see, two lines on there, two lines on here, that got pulled up a little bit for sure. That got lifted up a little bit, so it must have been just sliding it up. My husband and I had a disagreement about these two lines on the table. I thought that they were too short. My husband thought that they were fine and that the table would fail before the cleats would fail. I think we were probably both right. The table didn't fail and the cleats didn't fail, but next time we'll use the trees. Not a mark on her. Watch, dude. Oh yeah, and our new palm trees that replaced the ones we lost in Ian. That one was volunteering as tribute. And that one's okay too. And I didn't lose the Genoa and I didn't lose the mainsail. This is controversial, but we don't take the mainsail or the Genoa off during storms because I figured out a way to tie them that keeps them from unraveling. I have the Genoa furler line locked down on the winch. We have an extra wide band of sunbrella on the Genoa to give it more grip so it doesn't unfurl. Then we lace it up tight from the unfurl point down to the furler. Same with the mainsail. I have a preventer on the boom to keep it from lashing back and forth in the wind as well. We knew the wind was coming from the south so we picked which direction we wanted to tie the boom down on. So instead of fighting the wind, it would be shedding the energy from the wind. She has now been through Dorian, Sally, Ian, Edalia, Helene, and Milton with just a couple of scratches. I do like that saying, luck favors the prepared. Oh, look, one of my... Forgive my bleary narration. One of the... I'm so tired. Pontoons deflated on safe load. We're not sure how this happened, but if I had to hazard a guess, I'd say it bumped into one of those pilings back there. Hopefully we can repair her. Here's a good look at the lines on the rear of the boat. Don't come at me for the knots. If you can't tie a knot, tie a lot. As you can see, each of the faraway pilings has a line on it. Each of the lines were pretty loose. Now it's time to start on that super amazing lithium upgrade that I've been telling you guys about. Yeehaw! All right, no complaints. Unbelievable. 
See you out there.